Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Make it a great one. Surrender and let go of the past. This is a great card. It's particularly a great card about being present. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to, pull you up, to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you going to do right now? Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 715. You get the NASDAQ off 441. S&P's off 129. Gold contract uh, trading uh, up 1550 at 1906. You get silver at $22.90. Light sweet crude, 104.60. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note down six ticks, 119.05. The 30-year off 16 at 140.23. The amazing part, folks, is this. When you actually looked at the bounce that we had yesterday, you can see that the notes and bonds couldn't even go up, uh, go down rather, me meaning up on price, down in yield. And that was a monster heads up. This is another one. You got, you know, the, the indices down from, you know, 2.1% to 3.4%. And guess what? The bonds are still going down. The interest rates are still going up. And the reason being is that what has happened out here today also is that your probability that the May... Fed meeting is going to do a 0.75 rate hike. Now, this is a, this is a trader's probability. That's what they're betting on right now. It went from a 0.50 to a 0.70. You know, we talked about the aspect the last couple of days about the Fed fund rate right now. The Fed fund rate right now is 0.25 to 0.50. Well, they want to get to 2.5. You do the math on that. You know, the bottom line is that if they want to get to 2.5, that's a long way from 0.50. King dollar. King dollar is down 600 ticks, trading out here at 103.01. Euro is at 105. Yen is at 129. The British pound is at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. One that's going on in your world. And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? So I'm going to take a look at the SPY first. And what you have inside the SPY, right now, we're at... 414. The SPY has this high volume low that it's going after. That's 410.64. And the danger part out here today, folks, is this, is that going down into that level, that which is which is doing, and not hitting it today. See, it would be better if it actually hit it today and got it over with. Because when it doesn't hit it today, you, you hear me always talk a lot about building cause. Building cause is very dangerous in down markets. Because you're building more energy to get to lower price. And this is what this, this looks to me like this is how this is setting up. Um, so I suspect you're not going to hit it today. You're going to hit it on Monday, but you're going to hit it. You're going to probably blow right through it. We take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs. And by the way, when we do, do come back to work on Monday, what you're going to have there is that we have window dressing. You know, so, you know, you can see there's certainly no window dressing going on today. Uh, we take a look at the Qs. The Qs that low there that it already blew by is 318.29. So what that sets up, that sets up, you're going to the next level down. And the next level down is not pretty inside the queues. You know, we take a look at this and what you're going to see, oh, this is heavy. Oh, hold it one second. This is, oh, you got an ABC down. Oh, my God. I didn't want to have to be the bearer of bad news over a weekend. But guess what, man? This is a monster ABC down. Okay, let's do the number. 408. 318 is 90 bucks. That's 260. Where's 260? Right there. We're going to 260, man. This is a confirmed ABC structure down. You can see it. As you see it on the weekly, I'll put it up in the monthly. 260, and it makes sense because what happens is that you're gonna, we're going to get some at 297. You should, bottom line, get a little bit of support. But 260 is the ABC down, man. That's going to be intense. That's June, no, September of 2020. King Dollar. Let's go take a look at King Dollar out here. What do we have with King Dollar? Would you have a King Dollar? We bring this up. You know, this, is, this hasn't given up the ghost yet. Uh, if we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that uh, bottom line is that King Dollar 
put this back even further. I'm going to put it back like 50 years. I'll put it back 30 years on a monthly. And what you're going to see on King Dollar is that it didn't handle the top, but you're still up here, man. I mean, this was like if King Dollar breaks this 103,680 um, and we got to the 103,938, but you, right at 103,016 right now, um, you know, bottom line is that, you know, we'll see whether that, we got a failure up there. The way that, yeah, that, that's, that's how that shakes out. Uh, Amazon, let's go to Amazon. So Amazon, bottom line is they come out with the numbers last night. Bezos is spending money again. And, you know, the stock's down $438. Let's put this on a monthly. And you can see the next level, I mean, Amazon's 2,000 bucks. 2000, 2033 is the next level. Right now, Amazon is in nowhere, no man's land. And what I mean by that, we talk about, you know, levels, triple deck is in South Boston. You know, that's kind of what I relate to in the context of how looking at markets, meaning, you know, you go up, you're at a level, you got a floor, you go up the next flight of stairs, and there's no flight of stairs here. You know, the bottom line is you, you went up too quick, uh, particularly, we this consolidated for uh, July of 2020. So we're talking about almost two years, right? You consolidate two years, you break the consolidation. Guess what? Next level is 2033, and that would be quite a hit because because the bottom line is that you know we started the high was 3773, and Amazon. You've heard me say this before. Amazon is always so hard to buy, folks. Okay. It is absolutely also the buy. So what you want to get yourself psyched at is that, you know, what levels you might want to be looking at. You know, this is a fast and furious market. And my take is that, you know, you heard, already heard my take. Uh, some of the higher volume equities out here, we take a look at it. And this is accelerating on the way down with 45 minutes left. We got Apple off four and a half dollars. Advanced Micros off three and a half dollars. You got uh, NVIDIA off 11. These are, these are like ping pong balls, man. You know, NVIDIA, you know, goes up 11, goes down 11, you know. But the bottom line is that what happens in bear markets, folks, is this. Is that you go down, you go sideways a bit, you get a nice big day up, and then all of a sudden you get down more. Every bounce is less, and every downdraft is more. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.